Hey everyone, I'm Felicia Johnson and you're watching the NTTV Online Report. Denton County has extended the stay-at-home order until April 30th. The order comes after 14 new cases and a death related to COVID-19 was released. The extension orders individuals to continue staying home and only leave for essential trips. The order also only allows essential businesses to stay in order. One of the most essential businesses is grocery stores. In an effort to make shopping safer during this time, Walmart is beginning new safety precautions for customers and workers. NTTV, Mary Wicks has more. Walmart has regulated their entry and exit doors. These were changes put in place to help practice social distancing so you can shop safer. No more bumping into customers or standing in long lines while shopping. 72-year-old Bobby Walker says she is happy to see new safety precautions put in place because she is a part of the at-risk groups. Yes, I do. I do. Besides of the age difference, and then I can get in early, and I'm an early morning person, so it's, it's working out for me, and it's safer for me to go in, get what I want, come right out. Walmart is also adjusting store hours for cleaning and restocking, installing sneeze guards, and social distance markers. The retailers also looking to hire over 10,000 workers to help meet the needs of their customers. The business is urging all shoppers to take recommended safety precautions when shopping and to only go when necessary or use their pickup and delivery options. On Tuesday, President Trump released his administration will stop all funding to the World Health Organization. Today, I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Many countries said, we're going to listen to the WHO, and they have problems the likes of which they cannot believe. Currently, the U.S. provides $500 to $600 million to the International Health Organization. With such a huge contribution, this is expected to greatly diminish the organization's capabilities. The investigation and announcement has received backlash from Congress and other world leaders. Elizabeth Warren has officially endorsed Joe Biden for the Democratic candidate. When I first got into this, there are two lanes. And I thought it was possible that that wasn't the case, that there was more room and more room to run another kind of campaign. But evidently, that wasn't the case. Oh, I see that you are ready. Warren is one of the last rivals to endorse Biden after she announced her withdrawal from the race. Warren originally did not plan on endorsing anyone. Her endorsement comes just after former President Barack Obama also endorsed Biden. Tonight, we will close with the story of a North Austin neighborhood that is making a dark and dreary time a little brighter. Families in the neighborhood are giving seasonal greetings a new meaning by decorating their houses in bright, colorful lights. It began as a way to entertain children staying home because of the coronavirus school closings. The lights are reminded that this is a struggle everyone is going through. Thank you for joining us online. That's all I have for you tonight. Join us again tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m.